Goodbye, squatter. I'm gonna tell you what, that intro gets me fired up every time. Yeah, it's been a long time. Woo. It's it was been, like it was like Christmas Eve last night. It's, it's I, couldn't a, go, I couldn't sleep. You couldn't sleep? No. I, I slept really good. But I, was, <laughs> I got like three hours of sleep. So, yeah? Yeah. But I was sleeping on the couch, so that's probably what? why. What? Oh, yeah. Long story. I'll, we can go into that later. But, you know, I mean, there's a small person at the house now, so, you know, oh. trying to ease into... Th- yeah, a lot has changed. A lot has what? changed, yes. apparently. Yeah. So, in yeah. the... Let me see here. In the 21 months, yeah. 95 weeks, 664 days... 15,921 hours and yeah. almost a million minutes, which the minutes are changing. The count, the count is yeah. off already. Rapidly. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, when I sent it out yesterday. It's different than it was right yeah. now. I guess It'll be different changed. when when people listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Big changes. That's yeah, a big yeah. change. And gosh. To that end, like, you know, everybody was like, oh, when we announced that we were doing the podcast, like to the thing of like big things happen when we do the podcast. I met a girl. We announced that we're going to do it. Everybody's like, oh. He won the race. Blaney won the Coca Cola 600. You'll have to do a Gladys case now. So, well, little did they know, we had already had it in the works. I think yeah. it's, I kind of think it's like the vortex theory. So like we put it into the universe that we were going to do another episode, and the universe is like, we got to get him to victory lane. Yeah, that's yeah. People. So we we talked about this what for probably a month. We were supposed to. I'm going to open this real quick. Sorry. <laughs> we were supposed to do it the week leading into All Star originally. Yes, and it didn't line up, and now we're doing it, and it's just like oh. We're like a week removed from Charlotte, and it just kind of happened to work out. But yeah, we talked about it for a little bit. You know, it's been a long off period, and and I think everyone kind of missed it. And we're like, well, let's just let's do an episode. It'd be kind of fun to talk about what's happened in the last almost two years. Almost two yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I'm learning new things about Charles. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm I'm really excited that uh, and a lot of people wanted it to come back. And I think when we announced it, everyone was super pumped as well. Yeah. Um. All the feedback. I mean, I get really asked. Positive. I mean, every di- every week for the last almost two years, when the glass case comes back. Every week for ninety five weeks. I miss glass weeks. case. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, for ninety five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> for I forgot Chuck had a count down here. Yeah, yeah. So it's been the same we ain't at the racetrack. Yeah. Oh, we miss glass case. It's like, oh, I really like that show. It was a good show. I know. Yeah. It's shocking. I'm, people haven't I'm, forgot about I'm it. I am curious though because we've been away for so long, and there have been new fans. Mm-hmm. that have been introduced to the sport because I saw some feedback like on some of the stuff posted to pr- promote it where people were like, what is this? I'm wondering how many new people will go back and start from the beginning and listen to the pot. It's a big commitment. Yeah. I don't okay, know. I mean, would, you, would you go back and listen to the like... Would I? Yeah. I don't like to listen to my own voice, well, so that's a no. Right. But, but if you I, there, discovered a new podcast, you're like, oh, I like this, and this, these yeah. folks were like three years in, would you go back and watch... I have well, done that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Really. yeah. Or like Every one I've, of them. I Last have... podcast on the left, uh, like I've gone back and listened to, I don't know how many Or like shows, back. the yeah. same thing with shows, like TV shows. You or get like... invested in the characters and the people and you're like, oh, I want to hear, hear yeah, more of them. Yeah, you don't find out yeah. until like later it came out. Like I listened to, although it's not that old, Dolly Parton's America. That was a good podcast. I would. It's a big commitment. I don't know. Yeah. Like Game of Thrones. Everyone's like, oh, you got to watch. I watched the last season of Game of Thrones. That's the only season I ever Without watched. any of the others. Yeah, I have no idea. And everyone's I like, you got to go back and watch all. it. I'm like, I, I can't commit that much time. Mm. And then I watched House of Dragon. And like, I had no idea. Everyone's like, oh, these references to House of Dragon is amazing. I'm like, yeah, I don't really know. It's a good show, though. Well, that but was a show like that came out when we were like, we haven't even been together since that show came out. Have House of Dragon? Yeah. House of Dragon. House of Dragon was amazing. Yeah. Uh, and me not knowing a lot about. Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. I thought it was a great show. I haven't seen a lick of any of that. Yeah. Oh. What else came out at that time? House of Dragon and then... What was the Ted other Ted Lasso. One? We've already gone through the entire Ted Lasso. We It came come out, and gone. No, it came out in 2020. Yeah. Okay. We talked about it on those shows okay. that we were remote. We did talk about the first season. But yeah. It has, well, now it, it's come and gone. It blew up. Since it, it did. Blew up. Yeah. I it love that show. Cultural phenomenon. Roy Kent, my yeah. spirit animal. But what, like, oh, The Lord of the Rings. Show came out. I didn't watch it. Uh, no, didn't watch absolutely that. sucked. Yeah, I heard it. It was not good. Yeah, from yeah. a big Lord of the Rings fan, it was terrible. Uh, um, wasn't a big fan of the show. Did anybody watch Sweet Tooth? Have you watched that? Mm-mm. It's based on a graphic novel. It's very good. How Go many, how many Marvel and Star Wars products came out? Oh dear God! In the, so many. Yeah. So at the top of my notes, I had like five things written down, and. Uh, Marvel movies suck now. <laughs> yeah, since the last time we, since the last I time we talked, I the last one I saw was where everything imploded. What was that? Like Infinity War, Infinity or Endgame. War. Yeah, Endgame okay. is yeah, what. Those this are the, is the last one I saw. Yeah. Every movie since then, absolute 
garbage trash. So I don't like any of them. Did you was uh, TV shows was, the Loki, was Loki had Loki come out? Uh, no, that was that was in our off period. Yeah, and uh, wasn't I didn't like Loki. I don't like any of them. Yeah, they're not like they've peaked, and it's just not what it used to be. Like there's no there's well, no stakes. You're just recycling. You are recycling. Like I watched Ant Man last night for the first time. That Quantum Mania. Yeah, I watched it the other day. And it's like I like Jonathan Majors a lot, but mm. and he did good. But the movie is just like there's no there's there's yeah. no like. Yeah parts of making you nervous like there's no yeah. suspense in them right. like you know how it's going to turn out it's just not good anymore i, I am I don't know. they're also making what like a 20th fast and furious yeah hey. at some at some point you know that's a franchise a no. right there I, the, okay. they should have stopped after tokyo drift i am interested though with the marvel ones to see how they handle the secret war because uh, that's the next phase yeah that they kind of mm-hmm. teased with uh captain marvel yeah, I just don't know. I, More Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, Sam Jackson is going to put butts in seats, yeah. but like, I don't know. Just the way that they've got it going right now, like, like Guardians Three was okay, but um, I, on I the Star Wars front, I saw where Daisy Ridley's coming back for I something didn't see future. That. Really? I think I saw that announcement. They're, she's doing Back to the Future. No, <laughs> <laughs> she's doing a reboot. She's coming back. They're going back to 1995. This feels like Back to the Future. Yeah, I didn't see. I think I, it was announced. Now I got to look it up. I'm gonna have to go. What? Back to the future? Yeah. Back to the future. <laughs> yeah. We have to go back. Back. To the future. As so, I don't know. Are, the, are they rebooting? Yeah. Bringing back Daisy Ridley is the best thing Star Wars could have done. Hmm. She's confirmed to star in the new Star Wars movie. Wow. I didn't anyway. Even know they were doing just because the, the new ones did so good. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're yeah. just fun to keep on building. I don't it. know. And Star Wars stuff's going downhill. Yeah. Like, all the shows like Boba Fett weren't very good. And they Mandal- should have taken over. Obi Wan like, was a go out travesty. On top. Go out on I know. top. Mandalorian was good. The, the last season just. I, I didn't. Haven't I haven't seen the last season. Yeah, yeah. this is not good. Boba Fett felt like it was just. A so couple you have of Disney epi- Plus? Yeah. Oh, well, oh but you got a kid at your house yeah. now. <laughs> so you know, I have I Disney Plus too. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not. T- I have Why Disney stock. You? Everybody have Disney Plus. I just didn't. I didn't feel like investing in it. I already have like Netflix and Hulu and Prime and Apple and like the regular local. I got the Disney Plus when you had the package deal with Hulu and ESPN. It's still available, I think. Yeah. I don't want ESPN. I want ESPN. I want ESPN. There's all the stuff on ESPN. I don't care. All the sports. The only sport I watch now, honestly, is NASCAR and a little bit of IndyCar and some F1, but. Yeah. I like Strictly Motorsports. Strictly Motorsports. I honestly, I don't know if it's because like the pandemic. But I have, I have moved away from watching other sports. Sticking ball sports. Not like intentionally, just like my interests have gone yeah. other places, and I don't. I only you only have so much time. I feel like the world is saturated with things to listen to and watch, and yeah. See, I don't know. Sports highlights. Chuck has his new yeah. Charlotte FC shirt on. I've been going to I the do games. Like that. I went to my first one last year, and and had I've, a. I've yet to go. Blast. Where'd you sit? I sat uh, behind the goal. And like in the the, the new the nice seats, seats. Yeah, yeah, the nice seats, yeah. Ooh, yeah. fantastic! Yeah, yeah. It was it was. I love the energy of the football game, soccer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, soccer. Uh, it was fantastic, yeah. and I need to go back to one because I had. Okay, a I need to go blast. to one. Go. I started watching Welcome to Wrexham. Yeah, have you watched that? I have. I have. Delightful. You do you, you the Wrexham stuff? Have you? Yeah, well, I'm yeah, a big Sunny. Yeah, yeah, sunny yeah. Fan, yeah. So did you see Robert that Kennedy. Charlie got in trouble for drinking a beer? Like apparently in England, you can't drink a beer in public in the stands or something like that. What? There's some weird thing. Like he had a. First of all, they're not. Oh, this was, was the match in England because it was in Wales. Wrexham is not in England. It was in Wales. Okay. Yeah, Wrexham's in Wales. Yeah. But there's. I'm some, learning a lot on this show. Some law like you could have the beer in the box, like in the suite, but you couldn't bring it into the stands. And I have a feeling that like stems from like the hooliganism back in the day. Yeah, mm-hmm. like people don't want to get and beat up. I sit in the supporters section at Charlotte FC, and anytime they score a goal, you get doused in beer. Yeah, really. So, so you're in like the section that knows all the songs and stuff. Yeah, I don't know the songs. Yeah, I just kind of go. Eh, 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 I know what that's like yeah. being doused with beer. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I have flashbacks to I Victory did, Lane. I did that yeah. for four years straight. Yeah, yeah. The other day, like I just got hit with one like right here, and I was like, "That's how Kim felt." Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. This guy just went. <laughs> so just close your eyes with the can. No, no. Oh, it's liquid. They make you okay. put it in a a plastic cup. Oh, okay. Like anytime you walk in there. Pour yeah. in a plastic cup, but why are you spending fifteen dollars on a beer you're gonna throw? Oh, good point. That's true. 
I must have disposable income. <laughs> even even if I had disposable income, that's not income I'm going to dispose of unless I'm drinking the beer. Yeah. Like, that could go it's to better use. Yeah. Like, I could get more drunk. Mm-hmm. You should invent a mechanism on top of your head that <laughs> like is, is a beer catcher. Oh, it's just a big like funnel. a filter, like yeah. a funnel filter. Yeah, that's how diseases spread. Not well, if it, we already it. made it through one of them. So, <laughs> look at build up the immune. System. We're still here. Yeah. yeah. So wait, hey, we hey, did Charlotte. That's another thing. We beat COVID. We beat COVID. <laughs> did Apparently Charlotte? Everyone's better. FC yeah. do a deal with Pop Tarts. No, there. So this is like uh, I think Glory Days Apparel or something, and they they did, do a good job. They uh, basically when the new Away kit came out, it was purple and light purple. And it's it also looks, very like Simpsons reminisce. Yeah. The style of it looked like a donut or a it's a pop tart. Wildberry pop tart. Wildberry pop tart. Yeah. The best pop tart. Yeah. You gotta put butter on top. That's best pop. Kim's never had a wildberry. I haven't. Yeah. I've had strawberry and I've had brown cinnamon sugar and I think s'mores and that's it. That's it. those are yeah. the only pop tarts I've ever had. I like the edges though. The middle's not really. That is, a, the mid- that is the a, where it's at. That is a like serial ed- killer thing to I say. I like the edge, like a little crust with a little of the icing and a little of the middle of it, but like the smack middle. So how many I could bodies see, do you have in your bag? <laughs> yeah. How many are frozen and how yeah. many have you eaten? Yeah. Uh, do you put butter on the bodies? Did you watch Dahmer? You, uh, I did watch Dahmer. I couldn't get past the first. I think I was not in the right headspace to watch that show. I need to go back and try and watch it. I couldn't get past the first episode. I watched the whole season. It drew me in. Uh, it was it's one of those things. It's like, is it right making a show like this? Like, I mean, it's a and true making story, money. Though. It is a true story. It's like, but you're like, you're making a shitload of money on it, and like, do the families of the victims get any of that money? No. Like, and you're you're showing essentially their children who mm, got yeah. Yeah. killed by this guy. I don't know. It was weird. And then the dude. I mean, the guy who played him was amazing. I mean, he was he did a good job, I guess, playing Jeffrey Dahmer, a weird guy, but. He got like an award from it and everything, Ooh. but I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It's weird. Okay. But uh, I saw one, I don't want, I don't know. I saw one guy on Instagram. He does a really funny job of doing this stuff. And he was like, well, you did not watch the whole season. I didn't, but you can, but you like don't, there is a spoiler. Scene, yeah, that, you can spoil anything. Because, there's a scene in the bar. Like they go to this, this bar where he meets all his victims and like, he always puts stuff in their drinks. Okay. Like, like he roofies. would drug them. Yeah. yeah. And like, <laughs> I was like, you're the bartender of Jeffrey Dahmer at the club and like gets two beers, gives it to him. Jeffrey pours the stuff in the drink and then like he gives the beers back and the rim is all got shit all around it. <laughs> and the bartender looks at it. He's like, mm, oh, well, and he just like throws it in the thing. Like just super oblivious. Yeah. yeah. Although that, that was a while ago. I don't know. It's that, the 80s. That, it's like, a different time. Date. Can you call them date rape job still? I don't know. Roofies. I don't know that they were. Roofling. Yeah. If they were yeah. is like well known. Dahmer may have been on the know. cutting edge. <laughs> I, there was some like '80s movie, like like Porky's, which you know is problematic Has, now. Yeah, but aged out. They talk like I remember from like movies growing up, watching them in the '80s. Like they talk about like a Spanish fly, and like that was the the date rape drug back then. Oh, that's what. Yeah, oh, and it was I like no freely talked about in movies. Interesting. Yeah, and this could be something that they're like, hey, you know what? Let's cut you that know part what? out. Let's but just. You never know. Back it down. I don't know. Dahmer mm-hmm. was okay. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Maybe I won't watch What's that the then. Whole, like serial killer. It's gone right. now. <laughs> it's what? It's hard to be a silly serial killer in this day. Well, you and don't age. see many serial killers anymore nowadays. It's hard. You know. There's so much technology. Not like back in the you know. Well, there's a parent. decades ago. There's uh, the, on TikTok. They say that there's one going on in in Austin right now. A serial killer. Yeah. yeah really. Yeah. They have found a bunch of bodies in Lady Bird Lake. Those could have been like, there for a while. For but a while. like. They're all like men between like twenty five and thirty five. Like it's it's a very uh, like there is a type of person that is being pulled out of the water. Interesting. And it's very hmm. consistent. I have not seen. Wow. That. I was, I don't believe anything again. I've seen on TikTok, yeah. No. But, no. TikTok also since we last did a show has blown up. I feel it like has. it was around, but it it is it was now. just dancing people. Now yeah. it's like long form documentaries <laughs> and yeah news. You yeah. can learn a lot of stuff on TikTok. If too. you get on the weird side of TikTok. Like, What's the weird side of TikTok? So me and my buddies were TikTok. No, you on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that I'm a on, thing? I don't know. It's, it's like the it, dark right? web. There's every oh yeah. There's every type of thing on TikTok if you Whoa. if you look the right Ooh. way. But like I started looking up stuff on you know like cryptids and you know aliens and UFOs oh, okay. and stuff like that. So like conspiracy theories, right? 
And that takes you down this rabbit hole yeah. of like, there's a guy who had like his flat earth map that like there's these different islands in, sp it's like space, but they've got ice walls and it's aliens coming from different sectors and it's all weird, man. It's all weird. Could be true. I can see it. I mean, since we let, they've like, they've pretty much proven UFOs exist and no one cares. Right. Like it doesn't make big news. And it's like, oh, I yeah. feel like because the news cycle the last handful of years has been so voracious and full of things, they just decided to slip it in. Like they've had this information <laughs> for a while, but they felt like it could go like unnoticed and relative to the other things in the news, they're like, or people are it, like, ugh. Or is it that we're like, yeah, we've known for 60 years because the whole Ros well, Roswell is almost 70, I guess now. I mean, men in black. Like 49. Wasn't when, when yeah. Roswell in like the late 40s? I think so. Yeah. But so it's like, like, but now it's like the past couple of years yeah. has been like actual like bunch of evidence and like no one's like making confirmed. a big deal like you don't walk down the street there's no yeah. you don't start like conversation at bars aren't like man did you see that new ufo yeah. like there's aliens yeah. out yeah. there like yeah. no it's like you see this new dance on tiktok <laughs> like it's, i'm not convinced that the aliens are out there versus here which we talked yeah, about we've that. talked about it, like men in black style where you just don't you don't know like you could be an alien uh, yeah i mean Sometimes you I'm, do you ever think like what if westworld is real not aliens but ro like maybe we're robots and we just don't know Computer simulation. Yeah. I mean, might that, be. Yeah. I don't know. We might be robots. If you can imagine it, it's probably true. Yeah. I. Yeah. It was super funny because like, I don't know why, but Independence Day has been playing a lot recently yeah. on the TV. Really? Yeah. yeah it's been kind of Again, weird. they're Look, priming us. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, and I, you know, rewatched I haven't seen that movie in years. And you rewatch it, you're like, holy shit. <laughs> it's also a little cornier than I remember. Like, I mean, I, any movie from back then. Yeah. I mean, well, that was like early 90s, right? Yeah, like ninety four, late, late mid, mid mid late nineties. That was ninety. They are a little corny, but yeah. like it's pretty, it's pretty crazy though. Again, I think so they're just they're they're priming the pump. Priming they're just us. getting us yeah. ready. It was like Will Smith's first uh, like step out from uh, Fresh Prince. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Really? That was like one of his first big movies. Ninety six was mm. Independence Day. Will Smith hit the headlines while we were gone too. <laughs> yeah, he hit something. Pun intended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that was crazy, and that kind of—I feel like that was stage, though. I do feel like that stage. I feel like everything is. Yeah. I feel like nothing's real, man. I don't know. I, I feel it's like that was pretty stage. And to be honest with you, like I understand Will Smith standing up for his wife, but like, didn't she cheat on him like a lot? Ooh, I don't know. I thought that was like maybe kind of known. Like, I mean, anything with, like, those famous people and, like, their, uh, you know, like, they, their lives. Hollywood. It's all, like, I it's don't know. It's a little sus. I don't know. I, I don't get drawn into it as much. I'm like, cool. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. I feel like I've lost track of, like, new celebrities. Like, I know all the <laughs> old, well, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Humphrey there's so Bogart, many. Humphrey Bogart, Catherine not, Hepburn. Not like that. But, like, there's so many new actors and actors because there's so many shows on yeah. now that That's I true. don't know the names of some of these like, people. Like, I'll see them consistently yeah and but I'm, I'm like, like i don't know I don't, who that person yeah. is like brad pitt to me is still like the movie star like yeah. that's and he's he's getting old he still looks good though yeah, yeah. Still, still looks, looks good. good you see him in bullet train do you guys watch bullet train i started it and fell asleep but very I know, good movie because yeah. uh what's his name's in it from atlanta yeah i know who you're talking about I don't know from his name. atlanta yeah um the show atlanta danny glover no, 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 not Danny Glover. No, Donald. Danny Glover. I said Danny. I meant Donald. I meant Donald Glover. Love him, by the way. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't seen it, but somebody on a flight. This was last year on a commercial flight. Was watching it next to me, but I realized it like once the movie had started, and I was like, "What yeah. in the hell are they watching?" Brian Tyree Henry. Yeah, okay. That, yeah. Yeah. He's good. Uh, it's a great movie. Yeah. It's. I mean, Brad Pitt looks great. In it. It's my man crush. Is that no matter what age, your man crush from Fight Club to Bullet Brad. Train, it doesn't matter. Brad Pitt, Curious Case of Benjamin Button, oh, looks good in the great. whole movie. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you age. Meet backwards. Joe Black. Oh, yeah, he was tuxedo. Nice in that. I think, you know, not, yeah, yeah, once upon a time in Hollywood. Brad Pitt, same fraternity I'm in. He's a Sigma Chi. Really? At, uh, University. You guys are brothers. Yeah. Really? And we went out there for a thing in college, like a workshop, and every room in that house, the active brothers were like, "Yeah, yeah, Brad Pitt, he slept in that room." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Brad Pitt. He hung Is up that how room. they try and get cool people into their yeah. fraternity? That's how that works. So they draw the women yeah, in. Like, like, look, look, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt slept in this bed. Yeah. You could sleep with the next Brad Pitt. I have a t-shirt that said, your grandmother wanted us. It's a picture of John Wayne. Your mom wanted us. It's a picture of Tom Selleck. And your girlfriends want us. It was a picture of Brad Pitt. So 
all of them are Sigma Chi. Brad Pitt looks like Robert Redford, though, to me. Yeah. You know who doesn't look like Robert Redford? I tried to get to this earlier. Okay. We kind of glazed over it, right? You know, we kind of glazed over it. You won the Coca-Cola 600. Oh, well, you know, I didn't know... Yeah. We didn't have to talk a bunch about racing on this, but yeah, yeah it's, that was, not no, it's not about racing. That's a f- you won the crown six hundred. Yeah, like, no, it was that's cool. a huge, huge race. Yeah, it was cool to do. I feel like it got uh, overlooked too because you had broken a winless streak, and so people were like, "Oh, the winless streak is over." Not really paying enough attention to the fact that it's like one of the biggest races of the year. Yeah, I, I kind of feel that way too. Like it, it kind of did you, get that, and it kind of also got not that this wasn't just as big, but the so chase Pins- thing. Well, well, the chase thing, yeah. but then Penske swept the weekend. Yeah. So like there was emphasis on that, but not enough emphasis on like Ryan won the yeah. freaking Coca Cola six hundred. Yeah, there was a lot of storylines that weekend. Yeah. Uh and but yeah, it was cool to do the sweep uh for Roger and I, I can't believe that hasn't been done before. That was no. the first time. And uh so it was it was really neat to be a part of that. But yeah, I kept telling my guys, I'm like, Yeah, you know, we haven't won in a little bit and it's cool to, you know, get back to victory lane, but like enjoy that it's the six hundred. Like yeah. it's a pretty yeah. special one too. So, no, it was cool. It's uh, I got a ring and a watch. That was kind of neat. Uh, so it's, You'll get a uh, Coke it's kinda machine. Neat. At some I got point? a Coke machine. Yeah, I don't know where it is uh, currently. They Does said they come, were going to deliver did it. Did they tell you if it comes filled with Cokes? And they is, didn't it say a, that. is it a glass bottle machine or a. I believe it's a glass bottle machine. Okay. Um, yes, it is. It's from like, they said they repurposed it from like the 50s. Oh, um, oh that's um, the fun. Yeah, and when I get it, there's like instructions edition. on the back okay. like of how you work it and stuff. So I'm really excited to put it in the house. Are you nice. going to charge people? No, I'm gonna. I don't know if you can you rig it. I yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like, it might if just you be have, one that just like. But like a lot of the video games, it. like the arcades, they can turn on and off the. Like, yeah, like the pay. Put free play on. Yeah, I wonder if you can do that with a. Maybe that, or I'll just have like a box. I think it tastes like a nickel. It's yeah. like five yeah. cents. So yeah, I think I might just have like a big jar of nickels, yeah. and I'll just empty it every like couple yeah. months. Because like, I don't think anyone's gonna go in there and get a coke <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> you might, you co- I, Cokes out of glass bottles, I think, taste better than mm-hmm. fountain or can Cokes. And if it's a Mexican Coke, mm-hmm. that's what you should yeah. fill it with, is Mexican yeah. Coke. That's the high sugar stuff. That's, that's real sugar. Good yeah. stuff. That's the cane real, sugar right there. The real sugar. Yeah. Get Suarez to bring you a case next time he goes home. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 He he has a hookup. Or, I mean, yeah. The body armor's with you Coke think, now, so yeah. Hey. Oh, there you go. Do you think, though, I, now I'm curious... So I imagine if a Coca-Cola racing driver wants Coke products, they just get them for free. Could you, if you were a Coca-Cola racing driver, be like, yeah, I want Coke, but I want it to be Mexican bottle. Glass bottle only. Glass bottle Uh, only. I don't know. I wonder if they'll do that. I did learn on one shoot one time that they mix them like special uh, concoction of Coca-Cola. Like that they're drinking in the like commercials. Oh, yeah. They'll like mix like, oh, I want a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cherry. And like they'll mix it for them. Really? Yeah. yeah. I and didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. It's like when you see ice cream commercials and it's actually yeah. mashed potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's to like, make it look thicker. Or like the milk ads. Yeah. It's that like was they like bring extra World thick. of Coke to the shoots so like you can mix your own type mm. of Coca Cola. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Have you seen where they have come out with this is kind of similar? Uh, condiment dispensing <laughs> dispensing machines that mix like you can pick a base like barbecue, ketchup, ranch, whatever, mm-hmm. and then you get an addition like Spicy jalapeno, mango. There's like four, four, and you can you like can mix it, choose it, and then it just delivers your sauce. I didn't know that. Heinz, it's a Heinz thing. Anyway, so you got to keep pushing the envelope. Yeah, you do. You know, things are getting pretty stale out there nowadays. You got to keep. What? You got to keep raising the bar. There's vending machines in Germany where you can get sausage. Like I mean, like you can vend just about anything. Like a hot sausage. I mean, or it's cold, like like or a cold sausage uncooked cold sausages you know like things that, like you go to a butcher shop and they're closed well they've got the vending machine out front that they like will stock before huh. they head home and then it's boom. just like a big oh. fridge yeah. yeah interesting and then you that's, that's, that's not in. as as cool as if it were like a hot sausage and it like drops it in the bun and it's it like, packaged you know like a grocery yeah. store it's just on the little thing that reminds you. me too much of like in college or like or like at a tv station they have the old like vending like machines. the automat thing with the yeah. sandwiches but it's like the yeah. sandwiches uh, like you, yeah. have, you can yeah. like sometimes it's like white castle or it's just like a ham and cheese on white sandwich oh. that's been sitting in yeah. there for or the hot dogs or taquitos that are on the rollers at like gas stations uh, those don't bother me that, those are 
fantastic. Like yeah. QT does a good job. I will take one of those. Like the what's the the pizza ones? They have like the pizza oh, roll. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh it's amazing. Mm. Little taquitos. I love them. Like, gas station. What d- what is not vended that you wish was? Hmm. See the beer. There's vending machines with beer and alcohol. Is there? Yeah. Huh. Probably in Germany and like I've I've seen it somewhere. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can vend just about anything out of a machine. I'm trying to think what, like, what would be something. But you get like on the go. Yeah. Right. Like you're walking down the street. I want this right now. I want it right now. Like, mm. I don't know. What would be good? Like a good walking food. Well, like a like a broad or a hot dog would be yeah. good if it was. Or hot. not even food. Like underwear. Socks. <laughs> you, okay, you're socks walking around and you're like, "Damn it, I forgot underwear. I need to get some underwear." If you get caught right in now. a rainstorm, socks are a good, an extra pair of socks. Although I think they can at some gyms they have socks vending machines. In case like an umbrella, socks. umbrella vending machine uh, on the an street, umbre- like the yeah. like or a poncho. Yeah, that could be good. If you lived in a rainy, well, if you lived in a rainy city, you should be prepared. But yeah. if you don't own a raincoat and you live in Portland, then what the f- are you doing? I don't know. It's true. Yeah. I don't know. You're probably Portland smoking is, crack. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> why, am I, why am I getting rained on right now? It's okay. 80 and sunny. I don't yeah. know what you're doing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just sweating so much. That's why it's from the crack. From the crack. Speaking of we- crack, uh, <laughs> I want to know where this transition's going. Well, I just glanced at my notes, and I feel like these people are, have to be on it. Have you seen where the protesters are like throwing soup on art paintings? Like what? climate protesters? No. They threw like tomato soup on like a Van Gogh mm. at like a nice museum and like trying to get their point across some reason for climate change. Yeah. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it. No. But the the climate change protesters have, have kind of gotten pretty bold recently. Yeah. Uh, like banding together like on a highway, like on streets and like going to museums and dumping shit on paintings. I don't get the museum like, I don't, thing. No, that doesn't help. But like, I no. Don't, to your point earlier about like we're inundated with all this news that like oh, the so aliens get swept under the rug like yeah. you got to do something to break through right because there's just noise everywhere I guess Fair. <laughs> I don't know I think mean, outside the box on this maybe that's how they get through yeah. right I mean you gotta it's like, do something weird enough to where you get on the front page it's like alright we tried strongly worded letters to the editor that didn't work yeah mm-hmm. okay, okay we're jumping to hind we're next jumping step. to soup <laughs> next step we're soup we're just gonna put soup on a Van Gogh on, on a Van, Van Gogh. Gogh I don't get I don't know what it helps see soup on a war like an Andy Warhol thing that would have been like okay yeah he did the Campbell soup thing that makes sense but what did Van Gogh do to you I don't know I wonder if it damages the painting at all I don't or know I, I'm sure it's in it like off. a protect, protective yeah. thing yeah. but it's like I don't know I don't know I just don't get it I think it's hilarious. I'll have to dive a little deeper into that. Yeah, I just I, it pops time. up on my hmm. feed. Yeah, all the time. Like, oh, another painting Here. got ruined got by souped. tomato soup. Yeah. <laughs> got souped. Maybe it's a new ad from Campbell's or something. Mm. Campbell's new chunky. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Campbell's chunky is yeah. the bomb, bro. It's oil based. <laughs> my earring is like laying funny under my headset. And it's like hurting me. You anyway. can adjust it. Yeah. I know. I tried <laughs> to. I tried to like lay them. Well, it's, you wore hoop earrings. I know. I wasn't really... I mean, I thought about it, but I was just like... I put them on. Yeah. Hoop earrings and a headset. I don't think that really... Hoop, uh, hoops and a headset. Yeah. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the... You Scoop. don't know that phrase? Scoop? No. Swoop? The bigger the hoop, the bigger the whore. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Didn't know. That's a new one. If she oh, smokes, you heard that one? she pokes. I do know that if one. If she smokes, she pokes? The smokes yeah. and pokes one. That's yeah. what I've yeah. heard that what? one before. What? Yeah, you've yeah. never heard that? No. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's nodding like, yeah, Smoke. we've heard that yeah, one before. Literally, Kim was like, Whoa, else. I don't know. smokes what? Anything? Cigarettes? <laughs> Anything? Cigs? I think it was Mary meant Jane. for cigarettes back crack. in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, well, she probably smokes crack. She probably pokes herself with a needle. I guess. <laughs> it's a different kind of pokes. <laughs> Speaking of cuss words, <laughs> did you see that Apple is changing it now that uh, like you don't have you don't have to autocorrect? I to gotta duck try it. You told me you said. This and I didn't try it. I don't know if they've integrated it, it yet because it just came out today. Yeah. That so if I type story, it should. Oh, it didn't yeah, change it. A lot of times, yeah. I mean, it's. But it's also the AI learning on your phone sometimes. No, no. Mine's never. You learned. cuss a lot. Every. Yeah. Well, every time I say the F word, it goes to duck. Yeah, fair. You know, all the time. Know. So it's not like it's learning from me. And when I did have I to text go you back. the other day and it, it changed it? Oh, uh, literally, when we were having this conversation, I had a comment about like Elon Musk sucking something and it actually changed it to duck when it was something else so they, really? still, they got some kinks to get through <laughs> <laughs> no. 
and they won't kink shame you now with your phone. Right. They got the kinks to work through. Mm. So if you've got things that you're typing with, uh, yeah. You see that Apple's coming out with some new AR like, headset, bubble augmented yeah. reality. Yeah, that's like thirty five hundred bucks. Thirty five hundred. Yeah, I don't know, but it sent their stock up, <laughs> and I have this stuff. And you're so psyched. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, but the way they're saying that, like everybody's gonna wear them. Well, I'm at like, what's it? What does it do? I don't understand what it like. It reminds me of Ready Player One. Yeah, you're where like, you're just like living in a different world, and you you're interacting with like we would all have them on instead of interacting in person like face to face we would be interacting in this like virtual world from home but from feel any like? from or home we could be sitting here we could be sitting here like you could be looking at all of the articles that we're talking about la- it a- seems very lazy oh it's very lazy like we're going down this lazy rabbit hole of like you know there's not going to be any more human interaction it's going to be all virtual it's like the matrix and yeah. the, si- the simulation you talked about earlier yeah that's how like you get sucked into one is like well what's reality now is it what's on my goggles or what's out here google tried to come out with glasses <laughs> a long time ago were you there when we work. tried to wear those damn glasses <laughs> yeah, for a driver intros yeah. Yeah. put them on they were people? the dumbest well, shit i've ever seen were you with us at uh, when we went to gopro motorplex and we had the google glasses i think so yeah it was like one of the nascar that. next deals yeah. back in like 2011 yeah it was yeah yeah somewhere back there they tried to get me to wear them somewhere and also and it was like they also weren't that attractive no no they had like a big cube on the side of them yeah these look like snow goggles yeah it's it's it it almost looks like dale earnhardt's bubble um, goggles what's the like the oculus the oculus that's the word i was looking for i tried to do them my buddy has them and it made me just kind of sick sick. right no thank you I'm gonna, I'll I'm, just, I'm, I might have to buy some Apple ones. Though. I don't know. You got to see the rave of them. I just think that they're, again, lazy. Like, go out and do the things. I mean, I... Look, In what instance are they... I like video they... games. Like I, like, I like the technology stuff, and, like, it has its place. But mm-hmm. there is a potential for it to all, like, become too much. Be sci-fi. You know what's coming back? What? Black Mirror. Did you see they're coming out with another season of that? I don't know. Mm. No, I didn't see that. I watched a couple episodes of Black Mirror back in the day, but they were kind of weird. When they got to the pig episode, it was a little weird for me, so I just... Oh, you watched them out of order. (laughs) You don't have to watch them in order, but that's like one of the first episodes. The pig episode is very weird. Yeah. Anyway, new season. I feel like they have to go even further because so much of the things that they put in the previous seasons is actually true now. They've already happened? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. The pig one especially. Mm-hmm. So I, need to, I guess I need to watch that so I can. You don't have to watch the pig one. It's literally the first one. There's like a British prime minister. His family gets kidna- kidnapped. He essentially has to do it with a pig to like free his family, and they film it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, yeah, crazy. it's not great. Pretty crazy. Okay. Poor okay. pig, just making bacon. Ma- <laughs> <laughs> Ew! I accidentally just licked now that. I've, now I've got like uh, applewood bacon. <laughs> yeah, I've got. Did you uh, lick the filter? I like went, Ugh, but I was so close to that that it looked at. This filter has seen better days, by the way. Yeah, you don't have many people have just been spitting in I that filter. I don't know filter. who uses this, oh Mike, but there's just like goodness. debris. <laughs> it's a debris. You could, in take, the you could take the front filter off, where you probably have a little newer one uh, oh, in the oh, back. The double filter probably. Just don't get right up on it. You know. Just I didn't mean lean, to. Lean back just, a little bit. It has yeah. seen better days too. It's kind of ooh, like crusty. Well, Look I'm, at that. Is yours <laughs> just, still, I'm not wiping mine. I'm not even looking at it. It's well, right mean, in front we, of my face. I can't help it. We are moving to a new building in a little bit, so you know this is this is all yeah. this is all from like 2010, 2009. Well, it's the not new, happening for like another six months. Yeah. Really, the new building's in Concord, right? Yeah, it's right near the R and D center. Is. Yeah. yeah, nice. Hey. Yeah, I, Ford's Tech Center's right there. It's mm-hmm. really close to my house. Actually, it's going to be very nice. And there's a brewery right across the street. That is true. Yeah, you so. act like there's not like ten breweries within throwing distance from here. Yeah, but like you know. It's right. It's like literally right there. We can like oh. run a tap, you know. Oh. Into Zip line building. over. Yeah. An know. underground tap. Or overhead, whatever. Okay. Which, you know, might work better for flow if it goes up, and then you could drop the beer down. You know, gravity. Let gravity do the work. Gravity. Maybe. Yeah. Speaking of gravity, <laughs> oh. I have a, that's some, this is a smooth transition. Uh, did you know New York is sinking? It's going to be like Venice here in like ten years. In ten years. Doesn't surprise me. I don't know. In ten years, that might have been a little. Okay. Uh, but it, apparently, it's been sinking like doesn't sound like much but like two millimeters a year which is a lot, a lot. I, did, I also didn't know so you know how like the seas are rising mm-hmm. it's not like if you were to like put a solid object in a bowl of water and it all rises at the same time it's rising at different rates in different places yeah yeah depending on where the i don't know 
icebergs are, I guess. There's science attached but, to yeah. that that I don't know the specifics, but yeah. New so, York weighs 1.7 trillion t- tons. Is it, it so it's the weight the that's bringing it down? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the weight and sea level rise doesn't yeah. help yeah. Either, either. But that combination is yeah. like, I it's going to be underwater. How, well, it'll be it's like crazy. the next Atlantis, like thousands of years down you'll just have skyscrapers no, underwater they'll just build docks and like it'll go up and you know like, eventually it's just gonna the, sink. the ground level and you know you get in here and it's well, gonna sink florida is just gonna break off florida and california they're just gonna go did you see into where the water both of them that. can go like africa is like cracking through the middle of the, did you see that here's well, the th- and canada's burning like <laughs> here's the thing africa is like breaking yeah, off people, each other. It's people like, are like this is wild like when stuff happens with like climate or like the earth or nature and it's like the world's been around for a long time doing these things for a long time before people so the why, are we, su- why are we surprised the appalachian mountains right mm-hmm. are the same mountains that are in scotland like that is the same range mm. if you go back to like pangea when everything yeah, was, was connected was, was connected so at one point scotland and like maine were almost neighbors so that's why you know these things happen. That's things like break apart. Alaska and Russia. Yeah. You can see it from your house. I'm just saying. So, People <laughs> should be less shocked because... Nature. Yeah. Nature. It's a mother. <laughs> should be moving. Yeah. <laughs> well, like... Well, like when people damn, get atta- nature. When people scared. get attacked scared. by scared. wild animals... It's a I wild, did see a It's video. a wild animal. Some dumb chick trying to pet like a buffalo <laughs> on like a nature trail. She it's like, dude, that's a wild... Yeah, you get what you deserve. ...beast. Like, why are you trying to go make a TikTok video of you yeah. feeding it... Porn. Or like natural disasters are very sad because people die, but they're also natural disasters. Like they're unavoidable. They're gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I watched the documentary on the. I think it was in Australia, one of the volcanoes that exploded there, and people were like visiting it. There was an island you could mm-hmm. visit. Oh yeah, yeah. The white uh, was that the same one? I thought it was New Zealand, maybe Australia. White fish bay or whatever yeah, that one it where might they have been went, New Zealand. where they yeah. went and they were like oh, on vacation and they're thing, like yeah. oh yeah go i that the ch- one of those survivors speaking of tiktok she pops up on my like for you page all the time she's like one of the the rest of her family yeah, perished did, in yeah. the volcano yeah but. it was crazy like they it just shows you man it's exploded don't tempt it's nature yeah uh, scary it's, it's so scary <laughs> out there <laughs> so you know continents floating away from each other yeah so, eventually like, they'll flow back together. Yeah, unless, in the opposite the, unless way. you're a flat, <laughs> unless you're a flat earther, they just, they just fall, fall off. off. Yeah, then you hit the ice wall and then it bounces back. Yeah, in. yeah. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. Like, like, a, like ice in a drink. So like our yeah. countries and continents, like they're floating, but are they connected like to the seafloor? Oh, it, underneath. Like, yeah, yeah. It's plate tectonics, man. Plate tectonics. So like the plates are all connected and they shift. And then there's like they're fl- they're floating on like molten hot magma, mm-hmm. magma. So magma. technically, <laughs> you couldn't like go deep enough yeah. in the ocean and swim under yeah. a continent. They're not floating on the ocean; they're floating on magma. Right. Magma. Just, just <laughs> so then they're floating. <laughs> they're floating. Were well, they floating, floating or are they stationary? <laughs> I mean, they're floating. They're floating, it. floating yeah. on. But how we don't? How come we don't move more if we're just floating? It's slow. It's slow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like the Earth is like hurtling through space at how many miles per hour? Yeah. You know, we don't feel that. Right. You know. I, time is Science, relative, man. though. Huh? Time is relative. Did you see Don't Look Up? Yes. Yeah. I started yeah. to They're watch crazy. it. crazy. Yeah. I started to watch it, and I think I fell asleep. I don't remember. I didn't finish it. It, it kind of goes back to, like, with the UFOs we were talking about. Like, yeah. no one cares. Like, that movie, yeah. this Leonardo DiCaprio is, like, this really smart scientist, and uh, he's like... Um, there's going to be an asteroid. That oh, yeah. And they put them all yeah. on the news. He, they, he, they, they put them on the news shows and stuff. What is happening? What is that? It, uh, the simulations. Yeah. Messing with us, man. They don't like that we're talking too close to what's actually happening. I can't even tell what. Is that like a police? Like, you know, when you can hear like police, the police or like, like the police. Like the Radio radios? tower at the airport? Oh, is it the intercom panel? Air traffic control. Oh. Yep. Flip yep. all the listens off on the intercom. Yep. I mean, you should leave this in. There we go. It sounded like air traffic control. Air uh, traffic control was, the government has not was, uh, had a great few years, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're just asleep at the wheel. I don't know. Planes, just like, wheeler, almost... Yoke. Well, well yoke. no, yoke. no. The, the, the air traffic control 
They have a tough don't. job. They're asleep at the radar. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They don't have a... That's a tough job. Yeah. Like, if you fly right seat with somebody they're and like, like, actually listen to air traffic control, they have a bunch of shit going on. They're kind of like a spotter. Yeah. Yeah. And they're stacking them up at how many different levels. Like, I got this plane here, this plane here. Oh, you need crazy. to figure out to here, this, 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 this. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, did you see the... So, what was it? Two days ago? Three days ago? The sonic boom over DC? Mm-mm. I heard about it, but I, I could... Because they said a plane actually crashed. Yeah. There were no survivors, but who was on that plane? So there was a small plane, four, I think the four passengers on it, that were flying from Tennessee up to like Massachusetts or somewhere. And they got to like New York and then it doubled back and the pilot was unresponsive. So they scrambled Air National Guard out of either Pennsylvania or Maryland, one of those two. And the I think it was F-16s got up to them, but they had to like hit the afterburners and go like, sonic boom and there's a video of a dog laying on a couch outside on a porch (laughs) and like you just see him he's just laying there and then and he's like so they they think that people perished before the plane went down yes that is the uh got it the the last i saw it was like a small little uh, cessna type not it was a a a rj or but a small one like a small how many 16. people were on it? There were four people on it. I think it might have been like one of those 10 to 16 passengers. They think they all died before. Maybe like something that cab or cabin pressurized oh, or something yeah. like that. Passed yeah. out or something. Yeah. But the fact that it like looped back, so I don't know if it was like autopilot kicked yeah. in. And it, yeah. Hmm. So they were yeah. trying to get them on the radio, couldn't get them. But they, if they couldn't get them on the radio, they probably like, again, something probably happened. and try and do the like fly up by them and hey, hey, wake up. <laughs> Hit them with a wing yeah. like I... they did in uh, oh, yeah. what, what was that movie Air with Force Tom one? Cruise? Or where they got... Wasn't it Air Force One t- Top two Gun? where they Top Gun came alongside it? I don't know. No, nah, it wasn't Top Gun. It was like American Made. Uh, American Made. They're running like drugs from Columbia and stuff. Oh. And one guy falls asleep flying, mm. and uh, Tom Cruise comes up and like hits him on the wing with his plane. It's like that's totally. Did you see shit. where he was in Charlotte recently? Tom, Tom Cruise? Cruise. Yeah. No. It was right around the time of the six hundred. No way. Yeah, people yeah. like had pictures of him at, with him at bars and stuff. And imagine? he went to like the Janet, I think Janet Jackson played and he was at the Janet Jackson concert. It was very strange. He was probably in victory lane with you and you just didn't you like, didn't he was know. just, he was going incognito. He was too he had short. On, you couldn't see him. Well, he was too short, but he also had on just like a plain blue hat. Yeah. So like he was completely disguised. Yeah, could you imagine? Every him? movie star, like they go out and they just wear a nondescript blue hat. Yeah. It's like, nobody will recognize me. Yeah. But I, just so I don't Tom know Tom Cruise like walking down the street like, yeah. is that fucking Tom Cruise? Is Tom Cruise? Yeah. Little guy, little legs, just going down the street. Maybe yeah. they're gonna open just a running. Maybe yeah. they're gonna <laughs> open a Scientology running. wing here. I think there is a Scientology church in is Charlotte. There? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Where? Think. I'm getting head nuns everywhere. That's yeah. creepy. It's not that big here. <laughs> Shocker. Thank God. <laughs> and I think it's but yeah, there is one. It does exist. Huh. Had no idea. Yeah, they're everywhere. A lot of them in Clearwater. They Florida. are the aliens. Well, they believe in aliens. I'm saying that's where the alien connection comes in. Yeah, they think that aliens are Xenu and all that stuff are <laughs> coming well, to take your thetans. It's a religion based I, on sci-fi. I, I'd love to sit in one of those meetings. Like, uh, yeah. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> what is on in your focus groups? And if they talk about what is assumed they talk about, how do they keep straight faces in those? I think these people would like truly believe it. Like, I mean, I mean, I you know, got people it, who I've, believe weird shit. I've watched yeah. a couple of uh, docu series on cults recently, and it's wild what people will believe. Yeah, they're out on Pence Road. Where Church of that? Scientology um, in Central Charlotte. That is out by Charles T. Myers Golf Course, public golf course, I know where that is. Al- mm-hmm. Road. Oh, okay, that helps. Yeah. That's more. That's yeah. a better gauge. But yeah, they're out there. Hmm. What, if they to, what if they tried to pull you in? <laughs> I'm gonna look. <laughs> we, when we were in L.A. for the Clash earlier this year, like we were doing. Did you go to the big? Well, we were doing a thing with Mamba where we were walking around asking people NASCAR questions yeah. on Hollywood Boulevard. And we passed by the Scientology thing. And like, you want to come in for a survey? And we're like, no, we're good. No, nope. no. Nope. I, I know. How, that's how you get people. I'm not falling for your tricks. Yeah. So I'm not walking in that door. You. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. give you like pizza and yeah. like yeah. food this and is stuff. A, like it's a pyramid scheme. Look what you can get if you're a part of our gang. But it's like you got to pay Ooh. to get to the next level. I ain't like, I'm not about that. Well, you know, I want I you mean, to pay me. If you want to yeah. meet Zulu, you're going to have to. Is that Zinu, his name? Z- Zinu. 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 You want to meet Zinu. Zulu is, that's a movie from the 60s with uh, Michael Caine. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And no, then, Michael Caine. Uh, Michael Caine. 
Did he pass away? No. While we've been gone? He's still did, alive, right? Didn't a cane pass away still... while we were gone? John McCain? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 The Queen. Or maybe yeah. I'm thinking of Are you confusing Michael Caine with the Queen? No, maybe England? I'm thinking of James Caan. Michael Caine is not dead yet. He's ninety. Look at James Caan. James Caan, I believe, is dead. I think he maybe died while we were away. A lot of people died while we were away. Like you said, the Queen died. The Queen died. We got a now new monarch I'm the king. in England. Look at me. I'm the king now. King Charles. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Look at that. Charles isn't my favorite, but No. Yeah. Did you look up James Caan? I'm looking it up right now. It's just multitasking and talking. And he died in 2022. Oh, okay. So See, that's probably what you're thinking. I wasn't far about. off. Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, like, I'm surprised. Like, oh, you were right. You did it. All right, Pete. Could Same. you imagine being like, okay, the Queen England dies, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, not a shock. Not a shock. No, she was old for a long yeah. time. She was, she was, and she was 96. She yeah. lived a good life. Yeah, she lived a great life. But, like, it's, it's weird to me how they do it around there. Like, it's the family. Yeah, the right? fact that there's actually a monarchy in 2023. It's crazy. There's it's several. wild. There's several. In if the you world. really think about it, it's cool because I like history, but it is crazy. Yeah. Like you have this this family or the next heir could not have any idea yeah. or plan to run it. And it's like, well, well tough shit. You're going to run it. And how did they pick the person? How did they pick? Well, I don't know the yeah, history the of, of who was like, the first. Like how do they like you are going to be our rulers? I think a King lot of queen. The, a lot of that came down to, and I'd, again, I would probably get blasted for the history of this, but like conceptually, it was the first leader Son. that like kicked somebody's mm-hmm. ass in battle and was like, "All right, we beat all of you," and I was the guy leading. No, this group, but it was so also gonna, like we were anointed by God. But they—that's what they have to do to like solidify it going forward. It's like you use the oh well, it was. God, God, will. God wills it. <laughs> you know, if you watched, uh, what was it? The Crusade movie. Um, Monty Python? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. The one uh, where there, it, it was more recent. Was Brad Pitt in it? Oh, you're Crusade. talking about the one with Ben Affleck. Kingdom of Heaven? Was it Kingdom of Heaven? Oh, oh that, no. God wills it. Like, I know. With the Knights Templar? No, it's what you're thing. talking mm. about. No. Crusades. Anyway. Anyway. I was just always like, it's just that's but, a crazy concept. If you want to get something done, just say God willed it, and you can pretty much do whatever you want. But like back in the day, it was the guy that was like the strongest one that led everybody, and then it's like, okay, cool, yeah, you're gonna sit on this throne, and then. So it was a little bit of natural selection, and then you just pass that on and say, well, his dad did this, so then his son, he's the next in line, and this is crazy. It's the year it is. Well, that's what I'm saying. 2023, yeah. and there's an it's actual nuts. monarchy. There, there are yeah. still well, yeah, there's other ones. 43 too. sovereign states in the world with monarchs as the head of state. Wow. Yeah. 13 in Asia, 12 in Europe, nine in the Americas, six in Oceania, and three in Africa. There's nine in the Americas. Yeah. Like South, South, South America oh. and Central Canada, kind of. Oh, okay. Because don't oh, they? Technically, they technically are under the Queen. Well, some, not. I mean, the King now. Yeah. Ooh. The loony. R.I.P. <laughs> That's the thing that's going to be weird is like your whole life, if you're in England, if you're of a certain age, Queen Elizabeth has been on your money. And now, yeah, it's changing. Charles. Yeah. There's going to be like, <laughs> like, yeah, I wonder how they do that. Like, does. Welcome to America. We got everybody on any type of money anywhere, everywhere. Yeah, that's true. But, and George Washington could have easily gone that route of saying, oh, you know Divine what? There's right, a, um, I could be the king of America. There's a book true. series called. American Royals, mm-hmm. I think it is. But it basically is if America had taken the monarchy route versus democracy. Hmm. I think it's American Royals. Manifest Destiny, Ryan. Manifest Destiny. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy how we still have pennies and nickels and dimes and shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who uses a penny? No, seriously. It's yeah. so dumb. Yeah. Like Compared yeah, to how Europe uses it. Yeah, but I'll still pick up it, a penny. I ain't gonna pick up no dirty ass penny. I, I, if it's a heads gonna, up, stack I like that. Good luck. You gonna stack some pennies? Oh, uh, to, Chuck's been stacking pennies. I had to, I had to plug. Everybody the other, has a uh, everybody has a podcast out. now. Wow, oh. Ryan Maybe. was one of the first, but we were the OG. OG, we were. Yeah. Oh man, and it all started in this room. It did. Yeah, we are oh, in yeah. the original studio. Yeah. If anyone doesn't, we had know a lot that. of guests in this studio. We had a lot of big time guests, yeah. Didn't Jeff Gordon sit in Jeff the studio? Gordon. Chase. Yeah. Chase came. Dale when's the last, when's the last time Chase went on a pod, like actually showed up in person and for a podcast? <laughs> I don't know. Not phoned it in. I don't know. Probably never. Never. Since ours. Since ours. 
Brendan that was Gaughan, like the T Rex arm one. Justin Marks was in here. Justin Marks was in pre, here. Pre pre owner. Pre owner. Yeah. Like when he was talking about going and climbing mountains and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a lot of folks. Yeah. A lot of good stuff on here. We've had a lot of <laughs> dumb shit too. But <laughs> oh yeah. A lot of fun. No, it's jokes. good. Yeah. I mean, you drive a whole different car now? A whole different car. A whole different era, honestly. Which that was and I know it's NASCAR talk, but like it's weird to think about. We've all been in the sport for roughly, like, at the highest level of sport for roughly about the same time, right? Mm-hmm. 2010 ish. Ish, yeah. Ish. And you think about, all right, when we all kind of came in, it's Jimmy Johnson, you know, he's running the show. Jeff Gordon's still racing. And now, like, you guys are, are the guys. Are the guys. Like, that, that, it's, it's weird, but it's not weird at the same time, mm-hmm. right? It's a changing it, it of the on. guard. Yeah. yeah. Just like yeah. when Queen Elizabeth died. Yeah. It's going to be weird too. Like Harvick's going to be gone next yeah. year. Don't it's know what Truex is going to do. All of them are gone. Like yeah, like, like there's no more of the guys that were at the top when we all started. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. and the guys that were the up and comers, like the Loganos and the Keslowskis, are they're going to be and the Denny Hamlins, like they're going to be the they're on that next yeah. level of folks that like oh they're going to be retired. It is crazy then, yeah. though. It's crazy to think about. I think Logano's got a, a oh yeah a ways to go. No, they like they're not like. Him, versus Kyle like Bush, Denny. Denny, like well, Denny is older, but if Kevin can do it as long as Kevin's done it, you know, there's no saying. We can, How old's Kevin? Modern like technology and science, like you guys can't race till you're 60, 45? 70 years old. I don't know. I think he's like forty five. Forty five. Yeah. I mean, Denny's not not that much younger than Kevin. But look at uh, what's he name? acts younger, but he's not that much younger. Look, look at red, red, uh, what's farmer, red farmer, red farmer. Yeah. still racing, still racing, like ninety yeah. something. That's ah, sorry, you can. I couldn't do that. <laughs> not for that long. <laughs> not for that long, man. Just the the love of the game. Oh, that'd be like, brutal. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. He's a tough old coot. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that not 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 a good way to say it? I don't know that I've ever used the term <laughs> coot. <laughs> I probably just that. dated myself. Uh, what if I look that up? What's like? What's the definition going to be? Tough old coot. No, just coot. Coot. <laughs> I don't know if you Turtle. want turtle. <laughs> Is it on Urban Dictionary? Coot definition. A coot, an aquatic bird. <laughs> <laughs> Informal, though. That's yeah. the yeah. the informal. A foolish or eccentric person. Typically an old man. Yeah. See? You called Red Farmer foolish. Unbelievable. Not <laughs> foolish. He is brave. He is brave. He, he did go into the helicopter yeah. at uh, Talladega and get to... Uh, yeah. 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 Let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's get, not go down go, that path. Go way out of that but. <laughs> The, the, the man's seen some stuff and some things. Oh, for around. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hall of Famer. He was great during his Hall of Fame uh, oh, yeah. induction. Uh, what else we got? We got... Well, we could talk... I mean, we could talk about the Live PGA merger. That's pretty large. It's big news. Like, do we understand it fully They're making at a this deal moment? with the devil. Yeah. Which, who? Live or the PGA? Everybody. All of, all, yeah. all of the above. <laughs> I mean, that's just I, a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, like, the gist of it is like, you know, last year when Liv kind of came and wanted to recruit like, PGA guys, here, giving them buku yeah. money. Like, here's a billion dollars. Play for three years. Yeah. And like, you're locked into that contract. And PGA said, if you go to sign with Liv, you'll never be able to play in the PGA ever again. Like, at the time, you're like, you won't even be able to play in majors. Yeah, you're stuff. basically blacklisted yeah. if you went to live. And it kind of changed. Like, some, you know, those guys could play in, like, mm-hmm. Augusta and, like, the PGA Championship. But then they just struck a deal yesterday. It's like they merged. And all the guys That's who crazy. were loyal to the PGA are pissed. And I would yeah. be, too. Yeah. Because you turn down hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, like, uh, for trying to be good and loyal. And now it's like it doesn't matter. And the main guy at PGA is like... He's going to get a payout for sure. Oh, he definitely did. He at least owned up to the fact that he's going to be called a hypocrite and, you know... He is. I mean, that's the... That's, I would be furious if I was yeah. him. If I was the players who stayed loyal to, to the PGA, I'd be Money laughing talks. my ass off if I was a dude who went to live right? and, like, and got like, my huh. bag and just coming back. I mean, golf... I don't know. It's... It needs... A breath of uh, fresh air. I don't think it does. Some st- in, in in some instances, like I mean, this this I've played this sport my almost my entire life. Golf. Yeah, yeah. I lettered in golf in high school. I like going to the yeah. driving range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's good napping television. It's one of those things like <laughs> I is. was decent at it, and then like I quit playing, and like every now and then I'm decent at it, but um, it's 
the, there's a lot of rules to to like the PGA and the USGA that like it's. I Liv can see is trying where, to make it more fun, right? Like their setups at, yeah. at their tournaments or whatever matches, like they got music pumping and the bar right, right there and people are cheering and the waste management open. Like that it's, should yeah. be more like there need to be more golf tournaments that are like that, but you shouldn't change the open, the like the British yeah. Open yeah. or the Masters. So you shouldn't like there's some. It's, it's just like, like NASCAR. Yeah. Let's keep the crown jewels are that has as yeah. they are, and let's yeah. make some adjustments to some of the links of the races. So like on one hand, I see <laughs> where they're snuck, coming from. Snuck her, her protest in here. <laughs> I mean, look. I, I mean, I, I think you can do a little bit of a mixture. I don't think. Like it, the waste management opens yeah. awesome, but yeah. like some of the players are like, you know, it's good. It's only one week at a right. year, you know, because right. that's crazy for them, you know. But I don't know. It's it's got to be. It's, it can be changed a little bit, but I think suck it up and deal with it. Yeah, I guess. No, I, I do think though. To Chuck's point, like the British Open, the Masters are there's ones that need to stay. Like the Masters his- comes on truly and historic. And I'm watching. Did you go? I went. I, I actually oh, got to play went? Augusta in January. What? I yeah, I got to play it for two days. And, uh, did you get I, a pimento cheese sandwich while you were there? I did. I did. did it was you? fantastic. Yeah. And I went on Tuesday. I went on practice round this year and it was fantastic. Yeah. It was amazing. So I, one of our partners is a member there Yeah, and you know, he walks around with a green jacket because if you're on grounds as right. a member, you have to wear a green jacket. Really? Yeah. I don't think I knew that. Yes. There's a lot of crazy rules that yeah. uh, I, I learned about. And, okay. Uh, what was the most bizarre one? Um, the, the, I think one of the, Weirder ones were was like, okay, you're a member. They don't tell you how ever how many members there are at Augusta, right? Ooh. They that's, they always they keep that kind of secret. And uh, but so if you're a member, you don't get to take your green your green jacket stays there at the you can't take it the off course. the grounds. Yeah, it's chipped. It is like really a big no no. If you take it, like you get kicked out. Okay. So we pull up to the Masters, and my friend is like, I, hey, I gotta go get my jacket. So he runs in, puts his jacket on, we go park, and now you're walking around. But the craziest thing was like, he's walking around in his green jacket, and all the fans watching him are like in awe. You think it was like Tiger Woods walking through there? Yeah. Because you see huh. a guy with a green jacket, and they're like, assume, they want to take yeah. pictures with you. Yeah. Like, they're like, how'd you become a member? What'd you do? Uh, it's just like you saw Jesus. How do you become a member? Do you have to be invited? You have to be invited. Yeah. You can't just walk in there and, and, can it you just, know, can pay you, money. do you have to like be good at golf? Or you just have to have a nope. lot of money. Be good at business. Um, or both. I think you have to be, I don't know. I mean, it's, I met some folks there. I know some folks there who are like, like could you ever really become a member? Highly doubtful. I don't know. I really don't. Like, like you have to be referred. Do you have to like campaign and like they have to of? be on like, your board has to approve you. Interesting. And then you have to obviously give your initiation fee and stuff like that. Like a but, Roger Pinsky could, could be a member there if he's not. I don't know. I wonder, oh, oh, I wonder okay. if there. I wonder if there's like a. I'm just saying, like that level of. Like, yeah, like I think that yeah. level of person is like yeah. the. That's the. Yeah. The area. I wonder if there's yeah. an initiation that we don't know about, or like some secret know. handshakes you, or anything. Yeah, secret handshakes. You, some, you some got to beat Ted over here in a round of golf stuff. to yeah. get in. Like it's just you know some guy named Ted. You just got to beat him in yeah. a round of golf at Augusta. It was cool though. It was a cool that's experience. Nice. Yeah, it was fun. That is on my bucket list of things to do. To play yeah. Augusta. Yeah. Oh, it was fantastic. It's fantastic. I hope I can go back. What did you wear? So I was so nervous. Like <laughs> you're so nervous. So we go out. We stayed there on the grounds overnight. And so you get there and like no shorts. Yeah, you yeah. have to Don't wear pants. Calves. Uh, but like you, you know, you're wearing. I, I wore some green, some dark okay. green. You know, okay. supported the Augusta okay. colors. Okay. Uh, but you're super nervous, and there's like no one there, right? It's not yeah. like. There, it's not like every tea time, every fifteen minutes is booked. Yeah. Like we saw maybe two other groups the whole oh, day. Oh wow! Yeah, it's very spread out and stuff like that. But you're so nervous, and it's like just okay. your group, your caddies, and like two other guys are watching you tee off on one, and you're like, I am so terrified right now. Huh. Yeah, it was super cool. There's, what do the people that work there wear? Like, do they wear a specific color? Like, you know how like um, Indy has the yellow shirts? Like, no, I they, mean they. No, they usually just try to wear something with the okay. Augusta logo on it. Did you have a caddy? Or we all had caddies, yeah. So you're walking it, right? Oh, yeah. You yeah. walk. Oh, yeah, no yeah. carts. I know. No, no carts. Know. I just, no that's carts. one of those. Like, walking 18 is, is by far, that is my favorite I wonder way to play how golf. much money they spend annually to maintain the grounds at Augusta. A lot. Like or in the bonkers. seven or eight figures? Seven figures? I say seven. Okay. Yeah. They're doing fine, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <they're- laughs> so they do at the Masters, fun fact. 
uh, you know, they have their big merch building. Yeah. It's like supreme for. It's crazy. Country it's clubbers. Absolutely insane. And we went in there, and this is just the public one. And they're just shuffling people in and out. And there's a guy at the door holding people. And is there a, a max purchase amount you can make versus like going in there and buying a ton and then reselling it for people that don't have access? I don't know. No, I don't think there's a max pur- purchase amount. Like you can buy whatever you want uh, in there. Would you buy? I don't think it's oh just tons of stuff. I mean, we spent thousands of dollars in there because you're like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be back be here. Back. But they do uh, almost a million dollars a day in merch sales there. A day well, for a week. I mean, that's just crazy. And they make all their own yeah. merch. Like, they don't have an They're outsourcing They're printing place. money. Yeah. I mean, it's buku. There's three courses that I want to play. Augusta, St. Andrews, and then I want to go Ooh, down to Pinehurst Andrews. and play over there. Which Pinehurst, you can do. That's an easy yeah. one. To yeah. Do. yeah. I did Pinehurst last yeah. year. That's super but cool. To your point about the merch, um, North Wilkesboro sold out of all of their merch. The cool thing was, too, like, you... You, if you walk through the stands, you saw like team members and crew guys in line with yeah. fans, like for merch, because it was such a big deal. That's cool. I didn't get any merch yeah. from there. Max and I, our audio guy, got like at one of the little kiosks the last two of the limited edition hats Ooh. that had the thing on it. Is that what you're wearing? That's what I'm wearing. Yeah. Wait, like let me it, see it. I don't think I saw on. that. Hat. I got a hat. It's that one. Oh, oh that's, that's a sick. nice hat. They, they only Dang. made. They only made 381 of them. With they the, should have put the number on it too. Well, they they did. So this is forty five of three eighty one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the three eighty one is because that. that's the address. Oh, got it. Of the speedway. They need to, to do that more everything. throughout the year, like yeah. stuff like that, like but limited edition merch. That's like I feel like we're getting back to that with NASCAR, where there's like yeah. we're building that sort of what yeah. we had back in the day of this was desire. That, was that advertised or you mm-hmm. just found that out? I found it. I found saw it. Jose was wearing one uh, Friday when y'all did the photo in the track walk mm-hmm. and he mentioned something about them being limited edition so that's we cool. went and looked. And, oh. um, yeah, that's sick. We've started doing that on our stuff. We uh, like we do special t-shirts per yeah. race. Oh, like, I've seen that. I've seen we've done that. This year, it. we're just we did one for Talladega. We're doing one for Nashville. It's like yeah. super simple. Yeah. But it's flag like and anthem stuff. The flag and anthem yeah. stuff. Yeah. So they've been really good at designing. Like last year, we did one for like the Bristol Night Race. That was like a really funky mm-hmm. kind of neon light up design. Uh, so yeah, we've done some really cool ones. Um, and this year, we're doing them like really simple. It just says yeah. like Nashville or Talladega. It was red, right? I saw yeah. Nashville. Like, and then it just uh, has like Blaney Twelve on the back. How much creative input do you have in that? Uh, well, these are very if simple. You wa- but if you wanted to. Yeah, a, a good If bit. you were like, oh, I have this great idea for Chicago Street Course or Yeah, whatever. I mean, between like me, Justin, the Flag and Anthem folks, like we all kind of okay. talk a little bit. They probably do a little bit more of like the bouncing around and then I'll mm-hmm. just kind of get my input. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of, a, it'd be kind of cool to do a Chicago one, like a or Windy a City. last case one. I know Flag and Anthem has been super great. They've been fun to work with. They big part of our foundation event a couple weeks ago. They sponsored Gianna's Better Half Dash yeah. uh, cart or entry fee for that. So that was really cool. They made a little fairing of a, uh, uh, and the decal was like a big dress that they make, like kind of a floral dress. So, oh, fun. Yeah, they do a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, 25% off. If you're listening to this episode, go to flagandanthem.com and enter the promo code GCOE yeah. for 25% off. So I love it. You're getting some good stuff if you're. Make sure we'll listen to this. I actually got a uh, flag and anthem like flannel. Did you? In one of the, it's, one of, one of, it's like not one of those boxes where they send you clothes. Are you doing? Oh yeah. Are, you doing, like a, are you doing a wind shirt since you won the Coach uh, 100? They, uh, yes. Okay. They are. Yeah, they're doing that. Flag and anthem is not doing it, but it's okay. Uh, Penske's, Penske's doing, doing it. it. Got yeah. it. So you know they're kind of those normal yeah. Yeah. wind shirts. I wish we could kind of do a flag and anthem. One. I might do a flag and anthem one. It looks oh, kind of yeah. cooler. Yeah, you should definitely. do but, uh, World, yeah, the Penske one looks cool. World six hundred. Yeah. yeah. Do it. World six hundred. So who who's who's the biggest competition in the better half dash? Who 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 are you looking out for? Because like if people are listening to this, yeah, it airs on Race Hub on the June fourteenth. On fourteenth, right? yeah, it but airs. It already happened. It already happened. So they raced. No so spoilers. Secrets. No spoilers. Yeah. There's one thing we won't spoil. Yeah. Well, well I guess give us who's in the out? field. This comes out tomorrow. The eighth. Oh, uh, see. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so they raced. We should have came out on six nine. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> instead of 6 eight. Yeah. so they raced uh, uh, Tuesday night so a couple nights ago if people are listening to this now and uh, yeah I mean there's a couple there's some good ones that you know are former racers like Kenzie yep. Hemrick 
Russ. Holly Shelton, yeah. Eric Jones' girlfriend, uh, uh, one of the Golding, the Golding McCall girls, Golding. McCall oh, yeah. Golding, Coming Zane Smith. from a family of racers. Yeah. Tammy Rice. Chris Tammy Rice. Rice. Yeah. yeah, Chris Rice's uh, wife's there. Julie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Suarez's wife. Girlfriend? Fiance. Fiance, sorry. <laughs> Your sister? Uh, Aaron's running. Aaron yeah. Ran? Aaron's racing. Gianna's running. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the open practice was last week, and you kind of got a feel for where the pace was at. Yeah. John just got to find some speed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, is there like a gentleman's bet for the other halves? I get. Would you call it the worst half? If it, if it's the better half, dash. Yeah, we're the worst half. You're the worst half. Yeah. Like, I think it just says the other half. The on smack. The website. Yeah. So. yeah just, we're just a moldy half. Yeah. You're the just, other half. But no, there's a. I I, I expect some torn up go karts. <laughs> mm. Based on like some of the restarts that mm. they practiced last week. Mm. Yeah. Just like some wrecks and stuff okay. like that, because they, okay. you know, the restarts. You know, not a lot of these girls have started like double file yeah. in a race. Before. Oh, they're doing yeah. double file shootout style restarts. Hell the, uh, yeah! Start of the race. Oh yeah, shootout <laughs> style. Yes. Yeah. So it's it'll be watching a couple of the practice runs that they did. Yeah. Uh, at least one or two girls got spot out in the first and corner. And you were the spotter. So we're spotting. Yeah. So okay. we have radios and stuff, and I'm talking to Gianna, trying to give her some info. Okay. So it'll be fun. Yeah. You have to, Y'all have to watch it. Did okay. you do the thing that some of the spotters do at the end of the race when everything needs out the front of the window, out the front windshield, and then just walk off the tower? No, I uh, sometimes like she was just by herself in the race, and but I'm like, she can't on, at the, on the carts. She can't talk back. She couldn't talk back to me. It was a one way communication. <laughs> we made sure of that one. Some guys, some guys brought like actual radio harnesses, and like we got her a bell helmet of just like a go kart helmet, yeah. so they didn't yeah. have a radio in it. Uh, so we honestly, we just used. Uh, she just I just called her and she had her headphones in and oh, I'm just okay. talking to her on the phone. Okay. And that worked like yeah. fantastic. Okay. But yeah, someone some some guys brought like two way communication like uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> one way <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at. It's my way or the highway. Yeah. It's like we're just gonna reenact my Pocono win here where the radio doesn't work. Yeah. You gotta give hand signals. And hand you signals. Know, so I will say one one person wrecked pretty hard in the race. Yeah. And they were doing the iPhone thing and they hit so hard the phone hung up, <laughs> so they didn't. It was like lap oh, no. one. So, the, the, you're, like the other person's like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" And there's nothing. And then he looks at his phone. And it's just call ended. So <laughs> you can't really call back, can you? No, <laughs> yeah. they have it like on a fanny pack, like yeah. strapped yeah. to themselves. Yeah. So it's like you're not answering a phone call. Also, if so. they're wearing gloves, you can't. Gloves aren't going to work. On no, a, no. So and that anyway. person's probably like, you know. The driver, she probably doesn't know it hung up. Yeah. Because she's not looking at her phone to yeah. see the call ended. So she's like, why isn't he talking to me? <laughs> what do I do? Oh, uh, yeah. So I looked at the first. He's like, uh, call's over. She's on her own. I don't know. So okay. it was funny. Man. That, those were, that was always. Because that generally, like in the past, has been like, what, in between the All-Star Race yeah. and the 600 when yeah. both were at Charlotte. Yeah. So but, it's, uh, it's a good. I mean, they raised a bunch of money. MRO yeah. did. They raised over hundred thousand dollars. Wow, which is fantastic. MRO, MRO is pretty crazy because Miss Melanie, who's mm-hmm. the lady there, uh, like she raised me. Like yeah, she was there when, drop, when my dad just dropped their kids off. <laughs> when my mother just shoved me <laughs> yeah. free MRO. babysitting, take these children. And it's really funny because this is her and her husband's last year of doing. Aww. Like they're gonna retire and stuff. Yeah, are you gonna? Are they gonna throw them a retirement party? I don't know. I they was should. asking them, like, what all are you guys going to do? Yeah. All, the ki- all the kids through the year should come back yeah. and do something. I mean, they raised a bunch of us. I mean, they raised me, like, every single weekend. They were fantastic. So it's really funny to see them, like, now that I'm an adult. Yeah. Full like, circle. Yeah, like, 20, full circle. 22 years later. It's like, oh, it's kind of cool. Full so, circle. Miss Melanie. Oh. Yeah, it was good. It was a good time. No Great fights. Always. No fights, which was good. No fights. Oh, no fights. We talked on the spotter stand like we should manufacture a big brawl just on a the spotter huge. stand. <laughs> just hey, and there's a fight. Hey, like there's been a lot of fights this year. Like, not That's fights like fisticuffs, like just like people. There's been not... some punches, though. I well, mean, there have been punches. Like the yeah. Ross and Noah yeah. exchange. Yeah. yeah. And then Pretty Jeb awesome. and Chandler Smith. And there's one, one other, but just like it seems like. People are just angry at each other this year, more good. so than other years. I'm saying that's good. Yeah, yeah, I think we it's, need some black hats. I think it's uh, the the fight at because where'd they fight at? Ross and Noah, uh, Kansas. Yeah, fought yeah. At Kansas. Can't. Oh, uh, I was like not in a great mood after that race. I think we lost some spots on the last yeah. restart, and I looked up and I saw the big screen to them fighting, and I cheered me up a little bit. I'm like, ah, right, that's cool. <laughs> the like, yeah. punch though, the craziest part, the audio, it was like, oh, yeah. like it, like the punch was louder than they were talking. Max out there. 
had our uh, audio person. Had, had, Thank, had Max, the boom. great job. Were you the? Oh, you great one job. Of the yeah. yeah, we had so that one we had three angles of it of NASCAR Productions cameras, two with audio and then one slow mo art. So uh, yeah, we got it covered. And then Lanahan, the screens screens camera guy, he yeah. was there yeah. as well. So we had it in like yeah. broadcast. Nice. Then twenty four and sixty. There's a lot of good angles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the angle too that you get. Chase walking by, yeah, no yeah. one's like somebody's got to kick Someone's his ass. If you look yeah. at the background, like Logano kind of goes, huh? <laughs> and then oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna look the other way. So, what are y'all's thoughts on? I got asked the question the week afterwards at on fighting. What are, I, your, what are your? Everyone's like, it should be like hockey. No, you know? my here's what I think. I think you should let them fight if it's two, if it's two drivers. But you need to intercept if other people get involved that could get hurt. So like media or like crew members or if they hit the ground, Mm -hmm. then that's where Mm -hmm. you step in. But if they're both on their feet and it's just the two of them, let them fight until they hit the ground or other people step in. Yeah, I think there should be some kind of a barrier. Not like a like, physical, not like, like a, a rope. <laughs> no, <laughs> just like some, like because the crew guys can't get in it. Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. You can't because let the crew like guys you can't have a like a crew guy to crew guy fights a different story. I feel yeah. like they have been relatively good in the past couple yeah. of years of not getting involved. Yeah, it's like that's not fair. If a jack man's yeah. going to come after me, like yeah, I'm, no, not, no. I'm not, it's not. Just, just I'm not brawling around. with a 300 pound jack yeah. man. Like that's not happening. But I think yeah, it's but like you know Ross got his shot in. Yeah, yeah, and then. The security guy stepped in, yeah. and it's like, okay, Noah didn't get get to get one back. Yeah, but Ross, Noah did instigate it. Ross was, <laughs> so Ross was like, smart though, because did you watch? Held Ross? the arm before, like yeah. he was even close to the punch. He held mm-hmm. the arm down. Yeah, he was smart. He's been he taught was, something. Man, but I think I think you, you should at least go one for one. One for yeah. one. Like that's fine. But but like it's like if you go instigate it, do you get the one after you get I rocked? Like I don't know. If you start that shit, you better be ready to throw the right. first. Yeah. You know, if you're the one coming up. The first punch? Yeah. If you're like, what do you think the guy's going to do if you got him by like this fire yeah. suit? Like, that guy's not going to let you, you just to stop multiple times. Yes. Like, I warned you. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I think it's, I think there's got to be some yeah. kind of just free will to yeah. an extent. Yeah. I think so too. Um, but it, oh. you can't get it to be like hockey. We also right. saw but, Amarola shove Bubba recently. Same security guard was there both that things. was a, yeah. that didn't go anywhere but i was surprised because you don't really see eric that fired up yeah don't like the middle finger i guess nope people ask me about they're like what do you what do you do when bubba gives you the middle finger i'm like well it's different because we do it as a joke yeah <laughs> like other people might not like it as much yeah eric apparently yeah he didn't like it he yeah not, he was not a fan of that yeah he took offense and let I him know like the middle finger nowadays is like I think we're just desensitized to it. I know. <laughs> There's just a lot we're desensitized to. It's a lot no. of things. So. Do you know what I'm not desensitized to? What's that? Ending this show. Yeah, I mean, unless you want to keep going. I'm, and I can hit the music and we can. No, I think we've talked know. about a lot of stuff. It yeah. was yeah. fun to come back. I hope everyone really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, we're off to Sonoma this weekend Sonoma. and leading into our Why off week. Country. Yes. Catalina wine mixer. Ah. Oh, what are you doing for your off week? Uh, we are staying in, in California for a couple of days and then we're okay. going to go see a whiskey Meyer show in Red Rock, oh, Colorado. I'm nice. really excited about it. It's a venue that I want to go to there. You've never been? Gorge. They're in the gorge. Those oh, are the dude. two that I want to go to. Red Rock's yeah. insane. Yeah. Unbelievable. Saw Tyler Childers there a couple of years ago. It's fantastic. Oh. And I'm pumped to see whiskey Myers there. They're going to rock out. Yeah. What are you guys doing? I'm going to see my family for. I'm going to. So, oh, my dad will not listen to this podcast. Um, I'm going to surprise my dad. My, the rest of the family knows, but my dad doesn't know. This is the one that he'll listen to. Yeah, yeah this is the singular. <laughs> you just spoil the surprise. Just don't put this yeah. clip out there. He does. Yeah. He does get on social media and he'll yeah. look at like my Instagram, my Twitter. So uh, he won't make it to the end anyway. Even if he does yeah, listen no. to this, like he won't listen to Which, uh, by 20. the way, the promo. I like how we use both clips that dave was here can we go just revisit this yeah that dave how many times it, three two or three two. three times I think he was here too and came every both. time i wasn't there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we should have got dave back on he just won the other night one saturday night oh yeah, yeah, yeah. spring car race up at sharon nice. yes waxed yeah. them i've got a reenactment shocker oh you're yeah. still doing reenactments yeah we've ah. moved to world war ii now <laughs> oh okay yeah. oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. so, so. you <laughs> You're, you're getting later in the year. What's yeah. next? Is like Afghanistan next? Nah, I, you know, I know too yeah, many like people. How, like, like, I got too many buddies. What's yeah. the, thr- what, what's yeah. the They're threshold? They're in Vietnam or like yeah. the two that I what's can't. What's the threshold yeah. though of like, ooh, this is, it's, too we're close. too close. To me, Vietnam. 
It's too close. That's too close. Okay. Like my uncle fought in Vietnam. In, like that. Yeah. In if you're still doing this in 15 or 20 years, is Vietnam still too close? It might not be, but then I'd be too old. You think you're going to be too old to reenact? Yeah. I mean, you know, the average age of a soldier is what, 20? Yeah, we can yeah. be like an old I'm grizzly double bat, that now, you know? Yeah. You can be like a lieutenant I guess, or something. I yeah. guess my thought, the though, is like, it's a, it's a reenactment, though. So, like, yeah. you're keeping true to, like, the age of the soldiers. So, like, people age out of reenactments? They should, but they don't. What if you're, like, a high up, like, lieutenant? I don't know the high, I don't yeah. know military enough to know, like, who's the highest ranked. I feel like you get some older guys in those positions. You do, but that's still. What's your favorite era to reenact? Right now. <laughs> this podcast but world war ii right now because the clothing's a lot more comfortable right yeah no wool it's, it's cotton are yeah. the snacks better yes there are there's a lot more processed meats um okay it's it's pretty good the snacks are better than civil war snacks on yeah snacks. yeah speaking of reenactments it's a very sad one but the renaissance festival shut down in huntersville what what school bought it uh, <gasps> School bought it. Yeah, K through no twelve school. No more Ren Fair. I know it's very. Uh, I was gonna I go last I know. year. Thumbs and I down, bro. Decided not Sucks. to. Where are you gonna get a turkey leg now? Nowhere oh. anymore. It's done. We've got to find one somewhere. And if we do another reunion show at some point, we do it at a. Renaissance I prefer Festival. revival. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you. It was fun to be back. Yeah. I would say rate and review, but you know. Just get us more listens, likes, and comments yeah. than Corey. Share yeah, this. That one. should be easy. Yeah. I oh, don't know. That show's taking <laughs> off, man. You know, that that them Jonathan Merriman. You know, he's uh, his, yeah. his cold Blue Mountain takes. They're yeah. Good. Well, you know, what is the show taking off? You know, if you get like ten oh, listeners, then this fine. Is this, is this going to be contentious? Because <laughs> Ryan Flores. Yeah. Is on stacking panels. There's his. Uh, there's his first place trophy from uh, from your win the other week. We'd been making fun <laughs> of him for being second place for so long. And now he got first place. So. Yep. Hmm. Good for him. That's it. That's the show. That's the show. We love Hopefully you guys. Hopefully everything you asked for. We timed that pretty good. Yeah, wow. Perfect. Oh, it's like riding a bike. I'm telling you, man. Bike. <laughs>